So the old saying goes, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Get your coffee. Take heed that no one deceives you. That's the exhortation that Jesus gives to his followers at the opening of one of his longest discourses in the Bible. The context of this exhortation is important. Jesus says, take heed that no one deceive you, right as he begins to speak about his second coming and the apocalyptic happenings surrounding it. Issues having to do with eschatology or apocalyptic end time stuff are often where the greatest deceptions arise. Certainly there's a lot of deception around other subjects like money, sexuality, the work of the spirit, and so on, but teachings around the end times are often problematic. Jesus knew that this would be the case, and that's why he began his teaching, take heed that no one deceives you. Later on in the same passage, Jesus predicts false Christs and false prophets will rise, and they will deceive many. Therefore, Take heed that no one deceives you. It is important that we be on guard against deception and that we do our level best to check things that are being taught against the scriptures and what they actually say. The sad fact is that most people are not very critical about things that they are being told or taught. And it is all the more challenging as we live in an information rich culture. Actually, we live in an information glutted society. We have so much information bombarding us continuously that we are often very uncritical about what we see, hear, or are told. And for far too long, we've been being told what to think rather than taught how to think. The New Testament book of Acts tells of a group of people that were a part of a synagogue in the ancient city of Berea. Acts chapter 17, verse 11 says, these were more fair-minded than those in the city of Thessalonica, in that they received the word that Paul and his associates taught them, and then they searched the scriptures daily to find out whether those things were so. They tested the message and the messenger. They were critical thinkers. Now, even saying that they were critical thinkers, I think that there is a danger at this moment because some will hear that and instantly think of the dangers of what is termed critical theory. Critical thinking is not the same as critical theory. And I would suggest that we wouldn't be having many of the issues that we're having and that we are going to have in the near future with this whole thing of critical theory if more people were critical thinkers. Take heed that no one deceives you. We need to be more fair-minded about the things that we see and hear, the things that we're taught, we're told, we need to subject those things that we're told to an extra level of scrutiny. And that word scrutiny means a more careful examination. That's not easy. It's much easier to just go with the flow and to remain uncritical. But if you do so, then you will be easily tossed about like a child in the surf by every wind of deceptive teaching. So take heed that no one deceives you. Something to think about. See you next time.